all right welcome back to big pools down under and as you can see i have a folder in front of us yes i finally pulled my finger out and we are going to do a collection update now i know i'm way behind everybody else when it comes to doing a collection update and to be honest i've never been very good at doing these hopefully this turns out all right i am recording this on a gopro and it's new i'm still getting used to using it so hopefully it all turns out well uh, I'm not going to show the base card folder. I think everybody would have seen that by now and probably would skip past looking at the base cards. Uh, so I think we'll just get straight into the silver commons and work our way from there. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, smash that like button for me. And if you're new around here and you want to see some more content, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. All right, we'll start off with the silver commons. Now I do have the full set of these. Um, I do think they're a bit of a step up from previous years. I think it's a bit of a an evolution for these cars. They seem to be getting better every season. So I do think they look pretty good this year. Probably the best silver card uh, that I can remember seeing for a while, or if ever. But yeah, got the full collection. We'll just quickly fly through these. I'm sure everybody's seen all of these plenty of times. You'll have to excuse the way I've set my folders up. I'm not sure I've uh, put everything in the way it should be when it comes to the different sets, but hey, we still get to look at them. So yeah, none missing. I think it's one of the couple of sets I've got everything of at the moment. Still working my way through some others and I've still got some other cards on. Been very, uh, to sort, I've been pretty, pretty lazy this year actually. Very, very behind in getting everything sorted. My select pile is massive. I've got so many cards to sort and put into folders when it comes to select but um yeah i think they're a nice looking card this season um oh, skip the page not that it really matters um yeah, we'll just fly through these i think what do we got next card craft all right we've got card craft net next so i've got quite a good collection of the card crafts going so I've got all the, the Rankin. I'm missing one for Joe Danaher. Uh, we got all the Charlie Kerno. I do have all the codes for Nick Dacos. Um, thank you, Jason, for giving me the one I was missing, but I still haven't found the, that one for my folder. But I have completed that card set and claimed the 24 karat gold uh, collage card, which I'll show at the end. So what are we missing? We're missing one for Alex Pierce, one for Jezza Cameron. We've got all of the Noah Anderson. Uh, we've got all the Josh Kelly, James Warple, and Kaiser Pickett. How's your collection going, guys? I've got uh, all the Larky, Butters, and all the Tom Lynch. And we got all the Jack Sinclair missing the middle one for Callum Mills and have all the Oscar Allen. And then, as you can see, I haven't sorted my folder out very well, but we've got all the Tim English, which is on the back of the Oscar Allen ones. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not missing very many when it comes to the card crafts, actually. I didn't realise I had so many. Um, not bad at all, actually. I'm not far off from completing all that. All right, now we'll jump straight into the, the Silver Star Powers. So I think I've got them all except one card when it comes to the Silver Stars. And that would be this one here, number eight. Uh, I don't even, I'm not sure what the player is, but that's the only one out of the Silver Stars that I'm missing. Um, if you see any codes, feel free to grab them. It's fine with me. Now, yeah, we've got all of the Carlton, all of the Collingwood. Um, all the Essendon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure from memory that I've got all 
bar one card for the Silver Star Powers. So that's going pretty well. I'm pretty sure I'll find the last one I need. I probably got it. I think it was Harris Andrews actually. Um, it's probably in one of my piles. I've just skipped over it when sorting my cards. I'll go back through and have a look. But I'm pretty sure I should have it somewhere. Alright, so yeah. That collection, you might as well say, is pretty much done. Um, I don't mind them. I think I don't think these are the best looking Silver Star Powers that we've ever had. But they're still nice, all the same. Um, in fact, I, I don't actually think this year's Star Powers cards are the best we've seen. But they're still good. Alright, now we've got the pop-up Scanlands. Now I do have all of these. So, I, d I actually quite like this card this year. I, I think I prefer this over last year's original um, throwback to the Scanlands series. I do quite like this. Nice and square. Most of them are very well centred. Um, so yeah, and the, you know, the, the retro looks really nice without that die cut pop-up cut in it. I think they are a really good addition this year and I think they're a really good collectible card that holds some, some sort of value. They are rare and nice and you know, a throwback to the older days. But yeah, got them all. So that's another set pretty much done. How's your guys' collection going? You guys got all the Scanlons yet? Right, now onto the Majestic Car Cross, a really good addition by Team Coach this year, I think. Uh, you wouldn't want to be someone who's trying to collect every single 24 karat gold uh, card craft, I tell you. Now that there's two sets, it's going to be extremely difficult and I imagine extremely expensive. So we've got all of them except for the third Patrick Cripps. Which I'm sure I'll get one day. Uh, missing the first one for Scott Pendlebury, but I do have all of the Zach Merritt and all of the Nat Five. We've got all the Danger Man, we've got all Took Miller, and we have all of the Toby Green. Uh, we've got all the James Sisley, Christian Petrarca, and Jai Simkin. I didn't realise I had so many completed. Now I do have the Ollie Wines Majestic Gold Collage Craft. Um, haven't claimed it yet. Somewhere along the line I lost the third card, but I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. Got all the Dusty Majestic, and we've got all the Jack Steel. We've also got all of the Luke Parker, Tim Kelly, and the Bond. Wow, I'm not missing very many at all when it comes to the Majestic Card Crafts. Now that I look at it, I didn't realize I was so close to completing the full set. All right, here we go. We've got the Silver Best and Ferris. So I'm pretty sure I've got all of these. Um, another nice little change up they've done from last year. I think I much prefer this design compared to what they had before, which was the you know the the landscape sort of card with the top three. I think I just prefer them doing just the winner themselves. I think these are nice, a nice change up. All right, now we're gonna start getting into some bigger cards. Although I have messed up the order of the way I did it. I, we haven't done the gold commons yet, but that'll come shortly. So this is my Magic Wildcard Tribute Collection. So it did start off really well, as you guys have seen, but um, I have been pulling a lot of double ups lately. So I haven't really been adding a lot more to this set. But we aren't missing too many. I think I'm only missing like five maybe from memory without a quick count but they're a really nice addition fantastic addition actually team coach have done really well and another set to collect along with the wild cards that we already had so i mean the collect the collection is huge this year for 2024 in our star wild cards now i'm still missing quite a lot of these but I've got quite a few, uh, some pulled on channel, some pulled in, you know, just little 
uh, private openings for myself that I've just picked up a few packs here and there. But absolutely love the pictures this year. Look at that. Look at Patrick Cripps and look at look at Charlie Cameron there with the motorbike handles. Probably my favourite one, Mason Redman. But they all look really cool. Look at this guy, Noah Anderson, looking a bit like Doctor Strange or something. We got Luke Davies Uniaki. That's an awesome picture as well. Um, Tom Barras with his spoil. Look at the snozzer they gave the bont. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And uh, in our magics, uh, I'm not sure how many magics I've got. I don't think I've hit too many. So we've got the Dunkley one there. Luke Jackson. Luke uh, We've got Josh Kelly. Christian Salem. Uh, Tim Taranto. So I, I, I think the Star Wild pictures are actually better than the Magics. For whatever reason, they've gone with a more simpler type art design with these ones. Although the Bailey Smith one does look really cool. They've done a good job of that one. Uh, our rookie wild cards. I think we've got a couple. I don't have too many, but we've got a few. We've actually got quite a few for the first page. Uh, so we've got Michael Annie. Uh, we've got Ashcroft. We've got Ed Allen. I don't even know how to say his name. I know you told me Riley, but I'm still not going to try. Jai Clark. Bailey Humphrey. Uh, Aaron Cadman as well. So yeah, we've got quite a few of the rookies actually. Second page is a bit bare. But I mean, we've got Cam McKenzie there. We've got the Sheasel. And we've got Judd Buzzlinger. Now we're moving over to our fantasy cards. So I've got tons of double ups of these. I seem to find these quite quite often. But these look nice. They're a little bit of, a little bit different to uh, last season, but nice all the same. We've got James Sicily there, Clayton Oliver, Connor Rosie. So yeah, quite a few there. And uh, I think I've only got one on that page there. All right, now we'll have a look at the team star powers. Very different design to previous years. I do like the change. Probably not the best year for them, but I still like the subtle changes like the, the team color borders, things like that. And if you have a close look at the cards, I don't know if I can get it on the camera, but there is detail in the background, particularly on the neon one with the little specks very hard set to try and complete the team star powers i am not trying to complete it um, just whatever i pull throughout the season is what i'll have maybe i'll try and trade in a few collingwood ones if i don't get them all seem to be pulling a lot of the carlton ones looking at that but yeah as you can see missing tons absolutely tons um, but we've got a few good players actually um actually i don't even think i've put the uh, Dusty Martin in yet. But yeah, I do like the variety in the difference in the colors. I think they come up really nice with a bit of a team color border. But as you can see, it's a very hard set to try and complete. And, uh, but yeah, it's well worth getting whatever you can. Oh, I did put the Dusty in, there we go. So yeah, got quite a few really nice ones so far this season. I don't, I have not pulled a single Collingwood one yet, which is absolutely nuts when you think about how many packs I've opened so far this season. But yeah, that's all the team the star powers. We've even got the Bont there to go with the Dusty, so and the Crips. So we've got a few really good ones in there. All right, so probably my least favourite set each year, which is the Odd Bod. Not a massive fan of these. I understand why they're in there and I'm all for it. But me personally, I'm not a massive fan. But we do have all of them. So uh, I do like they change them up. They're not always the same every year. I wish they'd do something about the names. The names are just shocking. Absolutely shocking. All right, on to our gold best and fairest. So I'm missing two out of this set. So I still haven't pulled the Josh Dacos. Um, 
And the other one's Harry Sheasel, but I'm pretty sure that I've actually pulled the Harry Sheasel. I just don't know where I've put it. So eventually I'll find it and I'll whack it in the folder. I've got so many piles of cards to go through, it's unbelievable. This is why you shouldn't be lazy like me and you should put them in the folder as you go because you get overwhelmed and you lose and misplace cards. So here's our fantasy duos. Haven't seen many of these out of everything we've opened. They seem to be hard to find. Well, at least for me they are. But we've got a couple. We've got the Fremantle Dockers and we've got the Geelong. Also got the Melbourne and the North Melbourne. All right, now over to the Gold Commons. Um, this is a massive set. I'm not trying to complete this one either. Uh, it's just another one of those ones I will just put in a fold of the ones I get and at the end of the year, the season when I've stopped uh, collecting, um, yeah, whatever I have is whatever I have. So, but I think these look good. I do quite like these. Nothing overly, you know, fancy about them. Just a nice, clean, simple design. But I do have quite a few in the set, more than I thought, because when I went through them and I saw my double up pile, the double up pile was quite big. But looking in the folder now, I can see I do have quite a few. But yeah, it's definitely not something I'm going to try and complete. But hopefully I can get quite a few more ones that I need rather than double ups. But yeah, what do you guys think of the this year's gold common design? Do you like it? What do you think of all the sets actually? What's your least favourite set? What's your favourite set? I don't know. I don't think I've got any complete team sets out of them. There's just so many to get. Yeah, we'll just get through these now. Because we're getting to the big stuff coming up very, very soon. I think at the end of the Gold Commons, we've got our case hits. But yeah, oh, there's the Bobby Dazzler. One of my new favorite players I've got going right now. But yeah, as you can see, let's just, I'm running out of things to even talk about with these things. There's just so many in the set. I think the set's too big to be perfectly honest with you. I'd like to see them uh, shrink this set down a bit. But, um, yeah, it's definitely not one unless you're an absolute diehard to try and get the full set of. Um, but good luck if you do get it. Great effort. All right, now we move it into some of the big cards right now. So here we have my gold Magic Wildcard Tribute Collection. So we've got the Brisbane Lions right there. Uh, we've got the Gold Coast Suns one right there. We've got the Melbourne Demons and we've got North Melbourne. We've also got the Richmond Gold. Uh, Port Adelaide. And the Western Bulldogs in the Gold Wildcard Tributes. Now, I have found two Neons. Um, which one of them is in a video I haven't uploaded yet. So there you go, spoiler alert, <laughs> if, I, if I ever put it up. Um, I think they look really cool. Uh, I don't think it's the best neon design we've had, but for the sake of change and keeping them different each season, I think they've done a pretty good job. There is a lot of detail in the background in here. If you have, have one or haven't had one in hand, I can tell you there is a lot of detail in the back there, little specks, neon specks and whatnot, and all the little different ways of color that show up in the light. So I think they do look pretty good. It's hard to judge them on camera. So we've got three retro Scanlons. We've got two for Adelaide. We've got Jordan Dawson, Rory Laird, and Took Miller for the Suns. Absolutely, really, I really do like this year's uh, retro Scanlons. I, I prefer them over last year's one be perfectly honest with you. Um, now, a couple of the super big boys. So I have here Ollie Wines in the Majestic Gold Collage. And I scored myself, I didn't pull that, um, scored myself the Nick Dacos uh, Gold Collage, the original Gold Collage craft card. So I have claimed the Nick Dacos one, I'm yet to claim the Ollie Wines. Then we have this bad boy here, Charlie Kerno Gold Trophy Wildcard 
That's the first and only gold trophy of the season so far. Last year I was finding them left, right and centre, particularly at the back end of the year. How about that one? I pulled myself the Bobby Dazzler, silver trophy wildcard, Norm Smith medalist. What a grand final he had, eh? Now we've got some gold star wildcards. We've got Zach Butters and I pulled Chad Warner in a loose pack buy from Woolworths. So that wasn't recorded, but yes, I pulled that one. We've also got Will Day in the gold Star Wild. Uh, we've got two magic gold wild cards. We've got Isaac Rankin and we've got Luke Jackson. Very nice, absolutely love the design. I mean, the gold cards look spectacular every year. They look really good this year to get, because they've done some really good animated artwork. I mean, look at Butters there, Chad Warner, and uh, I think I think the gold trophies look really good this year too, to be perfectly honest. And so do the, the regular silvers. They really pop in the right light. I haven't got too much light on right now because of the reflection you get off the plastic sleeves, but trust me, they really do pop. And now, for probably my biggest card I have in Team Coach 2024. How about that beauty? Jeez, they are spectacular. We have got the Nick Dacos 24 karat gold plated collage card. Absolutely stunning. Look how shiny they are. I can't even try and hide the camera so it's not in. Even even my ugly mug is reflecting off it. Well, there you go, guys. So that there is my collection. If you enjoyed that video, guys, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button for me. If you're new around here and you want to see my last collection update, which will come grand final week and more box breaks, shopping center battles, select, select premium and anything else I can throw at you. Hit that subscribe button. Head on over to my page, check out my page. You might find something you want to watch. Could be anything on there that you might like. And as always guys, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.